Young Turks. I, I want to go to one of my pet peeves now, uh, which is the writer's strike. I like the writer's strike. I got no problems with it. Well, you know, probably both sides could be a hell of a lot more reasonable and come to some sort of agreement on the stuff that they can track. But the part that I enjoy the most is the television host uh, flounder. Uh, some of them have just canceled the show because they say, you know, in honor of our writer's friend, writer friends, I can't cross the picket line. In other words, without the writers, I can't do the show anyway. <laughs> you think I'm the guy who's funny? They, they write the stuff, right? But God bless, they're doing the right thing, I, you know, and I don't want to question their motives, although I just did. <laughs> okay. But Ellen's my favorite. She crosses the picket line, and then she gives an ode to her writers as to why she's not doing her monologue. Let's hear it here. I'm in the audience right now. Normally I'm over there. This is our first day uh, back since the uh, writer's strike started. And that's why I'm here instead of there, because that's my monologue, Mark. And I just want to say I love my writers. I miss my writers. The writers are the creative force in this industry. I don't want anybody to ever forget that, that we need them. And I want this to be resolved soon, because I miss them like crazy. So this is for my writers. I am here and not there. Oh, that is, oh, here, here. In honor of her writers, she's not going to do her monologue. Or could it be that without her writers, she can't do her monologue? No, 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 no. In honor of the writers, she will not do the monologue. <laughs> come on, Ellen. Come on, Ellen. I mean, you're a funny lady, okay? But that's the thing with these comedians. Look, I, I, I'm. L let's get real. I'm totally bitter, okay? Because as a radio and internet guy, we make the least amount of money, okay? But the one thing we got on these guys, people is comedians. God, they're great. They take forever. They take like a year to come up with like a half an hour routine that they do on stage. And they got that routine. In order to add a joke, it takes them like a month, two months to add a joke. Wow. Oh, I comedian. Right? Okay. And then the TV guys. Oh, they're out there and they're like, oh, they're so funny. They do their monologue. You know, they take away their 12, 15 writers. They got nothing. Zero. Zilch. In honor of my writers. I will cross the picket line, get paid, but won't do the monologue they normally write for me. Look, I love Ellen. I do. But that is some weak sauce, man. Real weak sauce. <laughs> All right. Now, speaking of weak sauce, we got time to do dog chapping for you. This is the guy who went on that racist ramp. Check out our YouTube video on it. Uh, he's the guy, dog the bounty hunter. And he <laughs> goes around using the N-word and he says on the tape, huh, you won't ever catch me saying, and he actually says the N-word, because I'm not stupid enough to say it and get caught. <laughs> and then his son turned over the tape. Oops, he totally got caught. By the way, that his son's move's a punk move. That's not being talked about enough. Okay, look, your dad's a racist and tells you not to date a black girl. I got it. But turning into your dad, man, I'm not, I'm not cool with that. That's really, really nasty. All right, now here's on Larry King, the dog is, the bounty hunter. And get a load of this. I have a past, and it is haunting me. And to use that word is so terrible. I'm Dog Chapman. I'm, I, you know, I love black people. I love all. I live in Hawaii, where me as are called a Howley every day, a 30% Anglo-Saxon. I want to raise my children around all color. Where I love Hawaii, you know that. I stay there because of that. <laughs> Come on, dog. Come on, really. First of all, he said, I love black people. Hey, don't, don't, don't say that. <laughs> yeah, we, first of all, we already heard the tapes. Second of all, if you're going to go and do a defense, don't say I love black people. It sounds ridiculous. Second of all, you love black people? That's why you live in Hawaii? <laughs> That's the craziest thing I ever heard in my life. No, I really, I love Indians. That's why I uh, live in China. <laughs> well, I, I, I just, I flat out don't get it. You sound like you're pro-Toyota. 